mini helis. They're fun as fuck. Look at all the wonderful things you can do. You can go anywhere, do anything, get anything. Not dangerous at all. Fun little thing to add to the game. Beautiful helis. You just gotta learn to fly them. But now, we got boats. And helis. Not dangerous. It's fun. And we got waves. Waves are great for boats, don't you think? Aren't waves wonderful? Look at that. Majestic. Majestic is... Fuck. And you got speed and waves. What could possibly go wrong? Well, maybe that. Well, I uh, I think with boats and helis in the game, we should do another boat and heli base. So this one's uh, version number seven. I don't know how it got to seven, but it is seven. It's more for a duel. Uh, a solo can handle it. It's about 5k metal a day and 3k stone, but um, as a duel, this would be real simple to get with grinding for scrap, and if you do any of the oil rigs, um, maintaining the base would be fairly cheap. And it's around 30 to 45 rockets to get in, and if you do any armor upgrades, it uh, makes it above 50 rockets. So, we'll go around, do a nice little flyby and show off all the good stuff um, the helipad there I made out of wood just because it doesn't anything doesn't do anything it's no protection so make it wood and then it's not really eating up any of your materials so at this front entrance here is an undrainable shotgun trap and then a garage door and then you've got your little boat base in here which you can throw down a refinery You've got a unlootable loot room in here that is very hard to loot with undradeable traps. And, uh, yeah, you've got a shooting floor at the front. Let's do an actual walkthrough and I'll just show you what I mean. So, front entrance here, come in. And if they're coming in through the doors with this undrainable shotgun trap, it's going to be very hard to uh, raid. There it is. So into the main boathouse, we've got a little shooty floor here to the right, which I absolutely love. A little fire pit below that give you that little elevation so you can defend the base if uh, people are camping it. And then out here you could place uh, a couple lockers down, put your diving gear in, and another undrainable shotgun trap through the boat entrance, just in case they come in. And then in here we've got our first little unlootable loot room which yes I know they're lootable but uh, if you put some uh, traps in them they make them very expensive to raid and then up above is another two little boxes there we go and then up top our little ladder hatch here this is a little heli landing pad um, this is optional again if you don't want the heli or you don't think you're gonna make use of the heli don't bother with this portion but uh, it's a little nice to have I would not want to play any other way without it get a SAM turret down you can protect it a little bit up here will give you a little bit of elevation it's easy access so if you are defending it um, you can get up here and shoot and there is some cover with these roofs right here just allow you to do a, you know, a bit of a fight back on people coming for your base. And of course electricity. So in here is the roof vault base trick that I always love to use. Um, as long as that roof is high qual or stone, they can't pass through it. They have to use the doors to push them. So another undrainable shotgun trap up there get into the main room here which I'm using two vending machines in the honeycomb for storage and armor so from the outside it protects with an additional 3c4 to get through them once they get through the steel walls and then hopping up into the main part of the base here we have another undrainable shotgun trap so they can't really get in anywhere here with draining these and I made the uh, roof and the floor below here uh, high qual just to add uh, extra protection which is about 35 high quality a day so loads of storage here with the uh, vending machines now where do I go 
What's the hidden spot? Well, look at this. Pick up the locker. And there's a secret little garage door that we can drop down. And another undrainable shotgun trap with the TC in it. And like I said, it's about 5k metal, 2.5k stone, and 35 high qual for this particular build. Just put the armor glass back in. And then there's loads of storage down here. This would be your main loot. And this is where you can cook your sulfur if you want. Um, you could also put vending machines in there too if you would rather have it for storage. And then just put the old lockers back. You could use a, a repair bench as well in that spot. Any item that you can pick up that doesn't sustain damage would be what I recommend doing. go and those are three large boxes essentially with those vending machines level two or level three workbench and that's really about it it's a nice little boat base so let's just get into the build here this is our starter base. You're going to build the vault off this hop with uh, just stone, whatever materials you can get. So we start with square foundations. You do three, and you surround it with the triangle honeycombs on all sides. And you put down your roof. This will be used for the vault trick. And we'll be making use of the honeycomb for storage. So we're going to go out to the honeycomb. And put our door down. And it's one and a half tall. That'll give us the extra elevation for the uh, hidden vault below, which is kind of key. Scuff this. Let me remove that. Perfect. And just keep building this one and a half tall. Now, depending on where you're playing, if it's a busy server or if you're by yourself, I would definitely build a little one by one or one by two to collect your loot to begin with, because this might be a little tricky to collect enough to build this off the hop. It's about 7k stone to build this. It's definitely doable. It's just... Uh, You have to be real quick. So that's what it looks like. There's the starter done. So simple one by three. And just upgraded all the stone. Place your TC, get your door down. And now we've got a secure base. Make sure the door swings out to the right. And that will function properly for the vault. So really not much to this at the moment. There's the build cost for that. Now depending on which way you want to build, you can either build the bolt portion and start farming, or um, what I would recommend doing here is finishing off the roof vault so that it actually protects it a little bit better than uh, just doors. So getting this sealed off with the honeycombing and getting it up to at least stone. And have that swing into the right. Now you've got a little bit of an airlock. So we're not using the uh, roof trick just quite yet. And there's the cost. Okay. So let's build the actual boat portion. So it's three squares out from the front entrance. And then raised foundations if you can. I'm out a little too far to be able to do that, but I can do it at the back. There we go. And over here will be the unlootable loot room. Which again is one and a half tall. Beautiful. 
and garage door. Combing. And this will be our front entrance, so we want to drop a foundation down low so it's an undrainable shotgun trap entrance. And then our nose piece here, which is two half walls. Get the garage door frame up. And then just get this portion sealed in so that it's uh, protected. And then just get everything up to stone. That's what it looks like. Voila! Magical. Get your door on. And you do a double door at the back here. Either a double wooden or a double uh, steel. Whatever you've got smelted up. And that's the overall shape. And we'll make our little airlock front entrance with a shop front and the undrainable shotgun trap. And then it would just be stone for now. Ideally, you'd want to get that to uh, metal as soon as you can, just so that it's uh, very expensive <clears throat> for them to get past the uh, shotgun trap. So yeah, just for now, until you get garage doors. So here you can make use of this for smelting. Throw down some uh, furnaces. Really it's up to you, it could be a locker kit, etc. Um, I would have normally had a, a garage door in place or a double door at the back, so pretend that's there right now. And then really just pick and choose what you want to work on. So we'll just put that up for role player's sake, then it's at least sealed and protected. You need to get a uh, garage door to make this really effective. So what I'm testing there is the fact that I can get in and out without really having to do anything means people can sneak into your base right here. So what we need to do is uh, throw a foundation under the water and block them from being able to do that. It's a little scuffy, but if you can just get it to drop down, and upgrade that to stone. And then we put down a little third wall here. And that's just enough that you can get a boat in and people can't get in. So, nose piece here, this wouldn't have been upgraded. So you put the two low walls in. And as soon as you have enough metal frags, get this nose piece upgraded to metal so they can't just pick through. And then I would seal this off with a double door or if you have it, a garage door. That way they can't look in your base. And then to make the roof vault portion, we just put down another door frame here. And before we seal it off, we want to get that little roof above there. And now, with a door, they're going to have to go through that stone roof to get into the vault portion. So as you get more and more materials, you go up a half layer in the vault. And you can do a window frame here at the bottom. You can do um, a solid wall. Really, the sky's the limit. So I'm going up at that half wall just to give another layer of protection from the top down towards the TC and then just get it all up to stone. And then same thing on this side, half wall. Or a whole wall. And then this little portion there where you drop down. And then we 
could put a garage door frame here, which will eventually be a garage door. So that BP will be very key to get that. And that's sort of the shape it's taking right now. Throw down honeycombing if you want. And then right here at the shooting nose piece, I use a um, roof. So going up a half wall is too tall. So my best option then is to just go like that. And again, if you've got metal frags, do metal, but I'm using stone as, an, as sort of a starting point right now. And that's the overall shape. All right, so continuing on. back in the vault you can start upgrading the core if you're getting metal frags now and you want to sort of work your way out so get the core all metal and get every single portion upgraded it's so whatever you can afford of course and then don't upgrade the roof it has to stay stone or high quality those are the only two that uh, block access so, you're farming, you're either going out on the boat, oil rig, etc. You're getting tons of metal frags. And you're just converting the core of the vault into metal. Just keep plugging away, getting the roof especially. People like to drill down from the top, so getting that upgraded first would be key. go so the core is starting to take shape now it's all metal so we're at about eight rockets to get in from any angle to the vault and then we start adding in these levels here which we can put an undrainable shotgun trap up there Assuming you got the garage door BP, start putting down your garage doors. Now the TC is also unlootable. So the minimum to get into the space is now at least uh, eight rockets. So there's the core and then the boat portion again, you can just keep it, uh, keep it stone as long as that's high qual there. And then just every portion of the vault Oops, I didn't do that. Make it metal, make it metal. There we go. Try not to miss anything. Very easy when you're in no clip mode, but uh, I try to stay out of that as much as I can. And then, there's already a roof up there. Yep, perfect. So, just seeing what I can do here. So no point in putting a shotgun trap up here like that. So. Put one up way up there and it's now an undrainable shotgun trap. So I'm just putting down wood doors because at this point it doesn't really matter. And you could actually leave them wood and it wouldn't really matter because they can't get through um, the roof without taking it out. So in these triangle pieces here, you could do vending machines or furnaces. Um, in this example, I use furnaces. So for that, you do a half wall and a low wall. If you use vending machines, I use a window frame only because it's easier to access the loot and 
if they bust through from the outside, um, they still have to go through the vending machine. So I'm not too concerned about them coming through the window frame after that. There we go. And then just get the furnaces cooking and cooking and cooking and smelt everything up. Sleeping bags, loot boxes, and, you know, the standard jazz. Maybe a drop chest here in the main entrance of the vault. And again, for a, more for a duel or, you know, a trio, this would be extremely cheap, but a duo, this would be definitely doable definitely doable as a solo as well you just you'd have to be a pretty good grinder to be able to maintain it so the vending machine goes on half of the uh, garage door shoved over as far as you can and then that makes it a very small entrance to go down and it's also your storage now here's a trick you can do as well throw up a rug and it's hidden mm, hopefully they don't notice it and if you really want to get fancy you can throw down a repair bench or furnaces. Now furnaces take damage, so change of mind and go with a repair bench. There we go. So again, gonna make use of the vending machines for armored and storage, so extra protection from the outside. Place them, rotate them, and disable the broadcast. Do on this wall as well another one. 20 high qual, 3 gears is very cheap uh, protection. And no upkeep for them, that's the best part. So then down here, I would throw down a sleeping bag in your main vault down here. Some emergency furnaces or vending machines um, where you could do your sulfur if you want. And get them cooking. You got your large boxes for storage. There's four large boxes, and then finally some protection. We would just simply do right there an undrainable shotgun trap. So we got furnaces, lots of storage. This is very well hidden. Just hide it again with the rugs, repair bench, and hoping they don't notice. And that's the shape of it. And then again, now you've got a repair bench and metal cooking. Put down the shop fronts. There's the cost, upkeep cost rather. And then start honeycombing. We want to get the space up in rocket cost, so start throwing down your stone honeycomb, or even better, another layer of metal. And for just building quick sake, I'm going to do this from the inside, which you can't do. Honeycomb, honeycomb, honeycomb. And I'm just playing around with the symmetry. symmetry in my base so get 
get it all honeycombed. And you'd be doing this one step at a time just to uh, to get it. So this piece here is kind of scuffed because it does have the um, shooting floor right beside it. We have to use a roof. So we'll do that. And then just get them upgraded to stone. Magic. And there's the build costs so far. There we go. So now we want to do the uh, roof honeycombing to protect it. So again, I like using the roofs. Sometimes they throw off what the actual lay of the layout of the base is. That's what it looked like over the main core. And then you can do the same in the boat portion. So if you don't want the heli, you can just seal it off like this. And that's it. It's done. Upgrade the stone. There's your build cost once again. No heli. However, here, I love the heli, so I'm going to put a little landing pad on, and I need to compensate for low stability, so make it as cheap as possible. And then this could be wood, but stone will do as well, depending on how node rich you are. And then now you have a little heli landing pad. Ooh, wonderful. Put down some landing lights if you've got them. I have the Christmas light BP, so I absolutely make use of it for exactly this, because it's fantastic. There we go. Now this would need to be taken out, which you could soft side in the future, and put in a floor frame and use a ladder hatch. So ladder hatch BP would be needed. Make sure it's ladder side towards the uh, shooting floor, just to make it easier to climb down. And then throw a bubbler in here if you can, or a refinery, whatever you want to call it. Keep it away from the door to the vault, just so it's a little easier to maneuver. And then you still fit your boat in there and be able to refine fuel, which is wonderful. And buy that at Outpost if you don't have the uh, blueprint for it. Go farm. Get your ass home. Bring all those goodies in and just keep grinding. Get your rust on. Now, right here will be an unlootable loot room, which is also honeycomb towards the main part of the base to the right there so by making it an unlootable loot room it might people keep people away from grinding in further to the uh, TC area so it's your standard unlootable which I know is lootable now but hard to loot or expensive to loot and this would be more for your drop loot or your tier 1 loot so make use of the barbecues So you can put a barbecue and a small box underneath and just make sure you're able to put in the window frame. I use a large box just to jump up. Shotgun traps, flame turrets is what I would prefer to use at the bottom there, but it's not allowed on this build server, so pretend that's a flame turret, but that's ideally what I would want. And then you can get to everything just fine. And then just seal it up. And then hide it. Make use of the rugs. garage door or a door frame and then honeycomb this in and 
everything up to metal. And then right here, you could put down again um, furnaces if you need the smelting. Like if you really need more to grind, then yeah, definitely. Um, it, they're a little scuffy with that little roof there. So the other choice then would be my preference would be vending machines because then it's armored uh, protection for the inside of the core of that base behind it, like the vault. So you throw a couple of these and just be patient placing them. Keep it behind the line. Place it, rotate it, disable the broadcast. And then this one should rotate behind. It did. Fantastic. There we go. And then another undrainable shotgun trap up there. And that's about it. There is the build cost. And upkeep. There you go, about 5k metal, 2.5k stone, and if you upgrade the core to high qual, it's about 32 to uh, maintain the walls and the roof in high qual. I hope you like it. I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. See ya!